Hi, and welcome to another edition of EC Theory. So this is the start of a new series called Discrete Math. So uh, a lot of you have been asking me to do a series like this, and it's finally time. So what we're going to be covering in this series is a bunch of topics. So we're going to, at some point, do a math review. So as long as you know some of the basic things, like what the real numbers are, what the um, complex numbers, um, uh, basic things like that, then you'll be able to uh, move forward through this. Um, the next thing is about logic. So being able to move forward through a lot of this stuff with a logical perspective is definitely something you should have. Next, we're going to talk about sets. Um, and we, we've talked about sets before, but we're going to actually dig deep into sets uh, here. Then we're going to actually talk about proofs. And proofs under, underpin pretty much everything that we have done in this channel and everything that you'll do in algorithms and theory of computation. So there's no reason not to cover proofs. You definitely need to know proofs. Um, some number theory will be nice. And what this does, number theory is basically the study of the numbers and prime numbers. And that underpins a lot of the things that, uh, that you do with relations to numbers. So what do you do after this? Well, what we're going to talk about is relations. I won't explain what that is here, but it's basically not real human relations, but it's relations that are basically tying various concepts together. Um, a big section on functions and uh, graphs. So functions are basically you input something, you output something else, and uh, graphs are basically connecting, it's a way of connecting various things together in a very complicated way. And why would you want to study graphs? Because they pretty much underpin everything that you have ever done. Like any social network is a graph. A lot of my research that I do is involving a graph of some kind. And so we'll be talking quite a bit about graphs. Then we'll talk about induction. So induction is a really important proof technique. Uh, this section just talks about proofs in general, but here this is a specific proof technique that is really, really, really important that allows us to prove a lot of things later on. And we're actually not going to do this in this order. This is just um, me saying what we're going to actually cover at some point. Um, so induction. We're going to talk about recursion. And why is this important? It allows us to simplify our algorithms and our proof techniques. So if I can just say, oh, here's a problem I need to solve. I'm just going to do a little bit of work and forward it off to this slightly smaller version of the same problem. And that's all you need to do. That's really, really good. Uh, we need to talk about trees, which is actually a type of graph. Um, so this, this is going to actually be separate from a graph because trees have a specific structure that is really useful sometimes. Um, a really important section is big O. It's probably the most important section on here for a lot of you because a lot of you are taking, like, say, the gate exam. And you need to be able to work with big O notation. And so many, so many people misunderstand what big O is. So actually what I might do is I'll cover this first so that um, uh, no one has any issues with big O later on. So definitely big O notation. Um, we got to do contradiction. So what is this? Contradiction is just another proof technique, but you were digging really deep into that. And that's it. So this is basically the, the order, uh, not the order, but the set of concepts that we're going to actually cover in discrete math. So I'll see you then.